Hello, and welcome to a new video. In this video, I know that this probably looks intimidating in the beginning, but I'll do an icon version shortly. The video on the top left is for credibility sake at the time of recording this. This is one second off of the highest fury parse. Um, I mostly just did that for credibility sake, again, for myself, and mostly since PTS was available and I was able to squeeze in a little parsing, which was definitely definitely relaxing. I do recommend for anybody that is getting into a class, do parse. It's very important that you understand the ins and outs of the spec. Uh, before we ran on about that, you'll see three different things, well, technically four different things, show up on screen here on the right-hand side. We'll have rotation A, rotation B, rotation C, and a parsing note. Parsing note can be ignored, but I'll go over it real quick. So for example, in the beginning of the parse, you're going to frenzy for an extra crit. You're using it suboptimally, basically, uh, in the grand scheme of things, but you're using it just for the auto crit. You don't really care about the destruction proc because this uh, the spec basically just leaves rotations, like one rotation and then the other rotations, either force crush destruction or berserk destruction. And that's basically the best way to think of it. So the first time that you hit sub-30, if you're doing uh, a record pace, you'll have Berserk up as soon as you hit Obliterate, and you'll have Vicious Throw available. So you'll be able to either in your first or your second slash able to use Berserk on uh, Vicious Throw. And then after you use Crush and Raging Burst, you can then pop Frenzy and Berserk, and then auto crit your Fear Strike which then will allow you to loop your rotation back into to, um, rotation C. And this will replace rotation A pretty much completely. As you see, rotation A and rotation B, there are two things that are very similar. For example, berserk and severe strike. And then if you see rotation B, berserk and severe strike is the end. So you see how these are looping together? The second obliterate separates rotation one from rotation two, and then rotation A only has one slash, and the other one has two. So ideally, once you transition into rotation C under sub 30, you're no longer using a slash on that one, you're using vicious throw. And then on the second part, which is rotation B, you are still using two slashes, and that's the one that you use uh, for scrush for destruction rather than berserk. So hopefully that makes a lot more sense. So to touch bases, you're basically weaving destruction proc from Berserk and destruction proc from Force Crush. And when you have Frenzy, you're often overlapping your destruction proc in favor of the auto crit. So you want to see rotation A. This is a normal one. That's not sub-30. The only thing you stop at here, if it is sub-30, is Vicious Throw. So you do this. And then rotation B is the double slash one because you don't have Ravage and you might have Force Scream up, but it's not optimal because most of these abilities give you CDR for your main abilities, which is your main damaging abilities. So just always think, am I about to do the Berserk loop or am I going to do the Force Crush loop? So getting into PvP, this is going to be a little bit different. I'll show you the CC immunity opener. This is obviously really close to the PvE opener too. This is also optimal for Enraged Crush if you want to play with that tactical. Then you would follow into filler and the priority system from here. You do have to keep in mind that uh, there's a good chance for you to miss because probably in PvP you're not going to take accuracy and even if you do have accuracy you're still probably not going to hit most of the time. So on things like Ravage, it's going to be really hard to land most of that damage, so it does make it debatable whether it's actually worth using as much, unless you do not have the plus 6 centering. Because if you do, do not have that, you're pretty much going to want to use Ravage to make up for the lost Fury slash centering. So going into the Greed opener, this is usually the opener I use, but oftentimes I don't use my second uh, Frenzy, or I guess Berserk. Um, but you can totally you can totally do this. This is like the maximum potential opener that you could do in PvP, especially if there's people like everywhere and you're let's say you're running 
uh, AoE Rage and Burns. Like this would be a lot of damage to do almost immediately. And then you would go into filler slash priority. Um, you could also do something similar to this with the Force Crush opener, but this one is just, in my opinion, better because it'll flow a little bit nicer. Then we'll do a brief touch on the priority system. Basically, Ravage will miss a lot, but if you don't have the plus six centering, you'll 100% want to use that. Dual Saber Throw is really good for AoE, and you want to aim it or only use it from range. And to keep in mind, these abilities do not give you CDR for your main priority. I will try to include uh, some Republic versions, and also do keep in mind uh, the current top parses. The reason why they do camo mad dash in the beginning is to get mad dash damage on the dummy with leap uh, you've seen this in one of my videos i accidentally discovered this and it seems that most of the top parsers have already known this or recently discovered it too and they're all using it to basically secure their top parses but do keep in mind this adds maybe like 60 dps i think it is in the end screen of like uh, the parse you can check my parts and see how much damage it actually added it's very, very little. Um, I do expect them to fix this because this is a really weird bug. Um, but in PvP, this could give you AoE damage because it is Mad Dash. Mad Dash is an AoE, so when you're hitting more targets, this will do more damage. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you guys for watching. And don't forget, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help.